Thank you, Nathan. And we should mention that the National Weather Service has confirmed that an EF1 tornado touched down uh, just across the Arkansas River from here at 48th and Riverside, an EF1 tornado there. Let's go live now to Washington County. Our Two Works For You reporter, Will Dupree, is there after several homes had trees and debris fall on them in several communities of Washington County. Will? A family here in Copan lost many of the shade trees surrounding their house last night. The powerful winds brought down more than a dozen trees, including this one you see back behind me here. Similar damage can be found all throughout Washington County. The cleanup began early for the Slaughter family. They're trying to clear away at least 18 trees that went down like dominoes Tuesday night. And a lot of them were 80 foot. They were huge, and so I've lost my shade, needless to say. Robert um, Slaughter says he and his family feel lucky because the only damage to their house was a broken window. A downed tree even lifted up, but still missed crushing his prized El Camino by inches. It's that close of hitting the car, and it, there's nothing. Nothing touched it other than maybe some branches. A man in Bartlesville was not as lucky. Gusty winds blew a tree on top of his boat on the city's west side. Crews also patched up a roof at an industrial space along Highway 60. Further north in Dewey, their trampoline came through here. Shirley Gaines and her family removed three trampolines blown into their yard. Two in our backyard and one that flew over the house and landed in between our house and the neighbor's house. With so much to clean up, Slaughter and his family are now wondering whether all their damage could be caused by winds alone. And at first I thought it was straight wind, but after I looked this morning, uh, I think we had a little mini tornado. Despite all the damage that you can see here, luckily no one was hurt during last night's storm. Reporting from Washington County, Will Dupree, two works for you. All right, thank you, Will.